Students that are able to perform at this level have the ability almost to sort of disappear into a zone. Uh, they're able to focus and concentrate and exclude all other environmental considerations. So are you passing? <laughs> My name is Zarathustra LSR Brady. And what people call me is my initials. My parents thought of that, and they were like, it's cool. My mom says, like, when I was little, I learned multiplication quickly, but I couldn't do the times tables, so that's where it sucked. I actually skipped second and third grade. One of the most important things that I notice about Zeb is uh, his commitment. And if you uh, were to give Zeb a book on any subject or any task, and he would just diligently work on it. Sometimes he would spend two hours and I would ask him, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I'm just trying to solve this problem. He's just focused. He doesn't give up. He tries all kinds of different approaches. He's going to be very hard sometimes on himself. I think I have a little bit of a distaste for schools, just from my own experience. So my philosophy was the fewer years he spends in school, the better it will be for him. He must have spent a total of three years in school by the time we moved out here to Los Angeles. Is this what I think it is? I was born in Philadelphia. My sister was born in Georgia, and my other sister was born in California. So we move a lot. What do you want on this delicious dinner? He always talks about math. He doesn't do any work. All he does is just do math all day. Sometimes he cooks us dinner if he's feeling nice, and he eats a lot. He teaches my little sister how to do math. He's an OK brother. I wouldn't trade him for a new one. I'd like to upgrade him, though. All right, Zeb. Math hates me. I hate math. I can't do it. First of all, it's boring. <laughs> Second of all, it takes so long for me to do math homework. Yeah. Third of all, like other classes, like I can kind of just do them. But with math, I have to actually study if I want to do anything. So math just kind of sucks. You have to allow a kid to recognize what they're interested in, and you have to be able to not enforce what you think is important on them. And that freedom will actually allow them to meet more of their potential. Well, this is, have you tried this one? Yes, I've tried that one. His math teacher introduced me to him, and when I was talking to him, it became obvious like how much potential he had, how smart he was. He had some holes in his math education. If it was too straightforward or too obvious for him, he, he kind of skipped those, you know. So we had to work on those to, to fill those holes. And in coaching, there's this thing that I liked so much, especially students like Zeb when they understand their like eyes kind of shine and you see that they got the point. I have this theory that the smarter a mathematician is, the less they work or the less they like to work, but I don't know if it's true. See, I haven't asked enough actual mathematicians how lazy they are. <laughs>